we are going to discuss study of sound hearing is one of the five senses of our body the ear is an amazing body part which allows humans and animals to hear what goes around them sound can be classified based on its frequency sound with frequency is less than 20 hertz is known as infrasound while the sound with frequency is about 20000 hertz is called as ultrasound range of hearing for a healthy young person is from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz and is normally referred to as the audible sound people lose the ability to hear sounds of high frequency as they get older the highest frequency that a normal middle aged adult can hear is only 12 to 14 kilohertz when you have a hearing test the audiologist will complete an audiogram the audiogram is a graph showing the results of a hearing test it will show how loud sounds need to be at different frequencies for you to hear them infrasound sometimes referred to as low frequency sound is sound that is lower in frequency than 20 hertz lower limit for the human hearing infrasound can result from natural and man made sources people use this frequency range for monitoring earthquakes charting rock and petroleum formations below the earth elephants produce infrasound waves that travel through solid ground and are sensed by other herds using their feet although they may be separated by hundreds of kilometers whales and other animals are known to use infrasound for communicating over large distances some sources of man made infrasound are nuclear and chemical explosions engines machinery aeroplanes infrasound is capable of transmitting over the large distances ultrasound is a sound that is having frequencies higher than 20000 hertz which is the upper audible limit of the human being ultrasound is not different from the normal or audible sound in its physical properties except that humans cannot hear it this limit varies from person to person and is approximately 20 kilohertz or 20000 hertz animals such as bats use ultrasound for locating prey and obstacles dogs and cats hearing range extends into the ultrasound a dog whistle is a whistle that emits ultrasound used for training and calling dogs the frequency of most dog whistles is within the range of 23 to 54 kilohertz echolocation also called as biosonar is the biological sonar used by several kinds of animals echolocating animals emit calls out to the environment and listen to the echoes of those calls that return from various objects near them they use these echoes to locate and identify the objects bats use a variety of ultrasonic ranging techniques to detect their prey ultrasound devices operate with frequencies from 20 kilohertz up to several gigahertz ultrasonic devices are used to detect objects and measure distances ultrasound imaging or sonography is often used in medicine in the non destructive testing of products and structures ultrasound is used to detect invisible flaws industrially ultrasound is used for cleaning mixing and accelerating chemical processes sonar originally an acronym for sound navigation and ranging is a technique that uses sound propagation to detect objects under the surface of the water as well as above water There are two different types of sonar active sonar and passive sonar active sonar emits sound signals and receives these as well to determine the orientation and range of the objects passive sonar does not emit sound signals it only listens to the sound waves coming towards it it is primarily used to detect noise from the marine objects like submarines and marine animals like whales sonar consists of transmitter transducer receiver and display transmitter creates a pulse of sound often called as a ping an electrical impulse is sent out from a transmitter which is converted into a sound wave by the transducer and sent into water when this sound wave hits an object it rebounds this echo strikes the transducer which converts it into an electrical signal which is then amplified by the receiver and sent to the display screen 
In most cases, the same transducer is used for transmission as well as for detection of sound waves. Most military vessels carry sonar systems which are used to detect and track enemy vessels. Side scan sonar systems are being used by search and rescue teams underwater. Dedicated sonars are fitted in ships and submarines for underwater communications. Sonar is used to determine the depth of the sea as well as search underwater hills, valleys, submarines, icebergs and sunken ships also. In the case of sonography, high frequency sound pulses are produced by a transmitter and directed into the body. Just like sonar, reflections occur. They occur each time a pulse encounters a boundary between two tissues that have different densities or a boundary between a tissue and the adjacent fluid. By scanning ultrasonic waves across the body and detecting the echoes generated from various internal locations, it is possible to obtain an image or sonogram of an organ or area under consideration. Sonography has been extensively used in examination of developing fetus. It is used to find out the position, size, possible abnormalities of the fetus. Ultrasound is also used in other medical related areas. Malignancies in the liver, kidney, brain and pancreas can be detected with ultrasound. It can also monitor the real-time movement of pulsating structures such as heart pulse that is known as echocardiography and large blood vessels. We found out various areas in which sound waves are used. Find out more about functioning of these technologies in detail using internet.